Welcome back to the channel everybody. This is a series of videos where I do different kind of explanations of problems or reviews or uh, talk about something specifically. I can do many things on this uh, series of videos and that's the reason why I keep on doing it. But if you have any ideas or anything or you want to contact me, you can uh, use uh, Instagram, you can uh, look for Francisco Amaya YouTube and there you can contact me, you can ask me if I can look at your truck. If I don't reply right away, it's because I am busy, don't worry, I will get to you. And uh, if, I, if I have the time to check your truck, I definitely will. But if I don't, just be patient, then I will do it one day. I mean, like, don't feel that I am trying to put it on the side. It's just because I have so much stuff to do. But that's the way you can contact me. And by using Instagram, it's the easiest way you can contact me because I, sometimes I can reply right away. Sometimes I can take a little longer to reply. But you can ask me about problems. And uh, also, if you have any ideas about the series of videos, what to do or what you want me to explain on a series of videos like this, you can use the comment section below or you can use Instagram as well, you know, to ask me anything. I mean, maybe you have a different idea of a specific video than you want me to do. And I don't know, I mean, that's, that's the good thing then when you share stuff that you want to do. But to the video. Today I have this 2015 Cascadia with a D15 engine. What I want to be talking about is an AC problem. This truck is having an AC problem where it is and it's not cooling enough. Um, I haven't checked the truck at all. I don't know what's the problem. So I'm going to walk with you to f in, the, in order to find out what is the cause of and, and the reason why this AC is not cooling enough. The, uh, driver of the truck say that it's just getting hot and it's not cooling enough so that's what we're gonna do so for that we have to go inside the cab so we have to start the engine so we're gonna do start the engine and now we have to turn on the ac this one has to be on full blast right now if you want the max xc this one has to be closed right here so we're gonna use a thermometer like this one. That's what we have to use to measure the temperature. Then this AC is uh, pushing to the vents. Right now it's supposed to be working full blast. I feel that it's not cold enough, and for sure it is not cold enough because it's been working already for 30 seconds or more, and the temperature is still around 100 degrees. I don't know if you can see this. See, that's the temperature that this one has. See? So it's still hot, so there is something wrong. So, with the engine running, we have to go outside. But we wanna check if for the AC compressor uh, functionality, then the AC compressor is working. So, if you come closer, the AC compressor is not working at all, see? That is not working at all. It's not moving. You can clearly see that it's not rotating at all. So, this could be two things. Or the gas pressure is low, or the AC compressor is bad. For that, we have to use more uh, experience. So when I use the AC machine, for right now, I want to drop the engine and put the AC machine to it and see what's the amount of pressure that this one has. But I thought before checking the pressure of the AC, it's good to check the compressor clutch. I think I did a video in the past how to check the compressor clutch but anyway I'm going to check it out here what happens is when the clutch uh, of the compressor goes bad doesn't pull the clutch it, the clutch is right here this surface if you can come closer over here you can see this one right here this is the clutch this part over here is the clutch if this one is not engaged this one will be standing still as it is right now. So in here, it has a magnetic uh, field. Then 
when you apply power to this uh, plug over here it will create mag magnetism over here and it will attract this part over here you see this gap over here you can i don't know if you can see the gap there is a little gap yeah right here yeah so that gap is the separation of the pulley and the clutch so as soon as this one gets power this one gets pulled and the compressor in here start rotating in here and start circulating the air recirculating the air so uh, the gas in this case freon and that's how you get the cold air in this case that one is not rotating so i thought about to check the pressure but we have to go step by step and the next step after knowing that the clutch is not getting activated is to check the clutch and that's the right step because if the clutch is good then we go to the freon and if the freon is good then we go to the pressure switch and if the pressure switch is, go is good then we go inside the cab again to check what is the controller or fuses about the ac and if everything is all right then we have to replace the controller if the controller is okay then we have to see what's going on maybe there is a power thing is no uh, being delivered to the ac and stuff like that it's a full process so we have to go step by step so let's uh check that so for that when i'm using this power pro this is a pretty simple power pro so all you need is something that is able to apply power like, like it does right here and at the same time you have ground so you have power and ground and you can switch it to ground to and ground so that's the good thing so you have you you only need this you don't need any special tools any fancy tools like some people will use but it's up to them this is what will cost around 100 bucks right now because it's getting cheaper but the other expensive tools are going to cost around 400 500 dollars to me it is not about the tools it is about the experience using the tools but to each their own so let's go and try that out so what we're gonna do the clutch plug over here you see has two cables one cable is red one cable is black so those cables means the power uh, uh, supply to each cable the red one is going to be the power cable and the black one is going to be the ground cable so what we're gonna do is come to this side of the plug and we're gonna apply ground to the black cable so we're gonna grab this end like this and we're gonna put it over here we're gonna hold it there and we're gonna grab the other end which is this one with the power and we're gonna apply it to the other end over here and it's going to tell you that there is ground I want to take the noise out because it's annoying so see it tells you that it's ground there is grounded uh, clutch right there so what we do is apply power directly to the plug right there so we we'll put it right here and we apply power there is no activation of clutch if the clutch is good you're gonna hear clack 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 every time you apply power like this see but in this case there is nothing getting activated but if you come to this side oh, this is what happens when i apply the power you can see the clutch right there that is the compressor clutch and apply the power right now it barely moves you see there is a very small move movement of the clutch see there's nothing going on see which means then the clutch is bad the ac clutch is in a bad condition so what that means ac compressor has to be replaced there is a way that you can replace the clutch only remove the clutch and uh, place a new clutch in the pulley and it can work i don't really recommend that i prefer to replace everything the clutch and as soon as you replace the uh the compressor you have to replace the dryer this is the dryer over here it's pretty close pretty easy to replace not like all the trucks and you have to do so much to replace this one in this case this one is pretty easy so uh you replace the dryer and you replace the compressor at the same time with the clutch the compressor comes with the same clutch i mean with the clutch and uh you have to replace the o-rings and everything and that will be the solution of this problem because uh that is the problem that's truly the problem but if you want to be sure completely then this is the problem 
because you can question me and by saying that you didn't measure the power from the plug that comes from the engine. So we're going to do that. We're going to start the engine and we're going to measure the power from the plug right here to see if we have ground and if we have power. Because right now we're going to have two grounds. We're going to have a ground over here, see? And we're going to have another ground right here because the system is off. So what we're going to do is switch the system on, turn the engine on because we, we cannot just turn the ignition on. We have to start the engine and everything because this system, the engine has to be working in order to activate the AC. So we're going to do that and um, we're going to uh, see if this one is working. So uh, wait for me right here and I'm going to start the engine. the power all we have to do because this tool already has the way how to test it is to make contact with the end then we want to test so you want to come to this side when I got the plug and when I got the uh, tester there is power and we have ground Power and ground. So, this means that the system is full of gas and the system is working well. Definitely, the AC compressor is bad. By knowing that, then there is power and there is ground, I can clearly know that the system is working correctly, that there is gas in the system and the system is operating the way it's supposed to be because it's sending the signal to the clutch to get activated. The clutch is the one that is not working in this case, so we have to replace it. If you have the DDL software or uh, the DDL software is the one that you use for Detroit to diagnose the problems, that software is actually going to tell you that the compressor is failing too. So you, with that software you can actually tell what could be the problem with the AC system too. But in this case we did the old way, the, the way you're going to do it at home because that's my point, to help you at home. But maybe you mechanics too, you don't know how to do the process, so I'm helping you too. So that's the way we knew the problem by doing all uh, the process, right? So uh, you have to do the process step by step, as I said before. Um, you have to go from the compressor to all the components after the compressor. And uh, if everything is right, you have to check the pressure from the AC and everything. If ev You have to do it step by step, otherwise you, your uh, job is going to not be that precise and you're gonna spend money in areas where you don't have to. So that's the reason why you have to go in these specific areas. That's why I realize now that the AC compressor is bad. So I have to get a new one, replace it, and this truck will be ready to go to the desert and enjoy the summer. And that's how you gotta do it at home or at your shop or anybody that wants just to learn about this. A very basic process on how to diagnose what it is, the AC system, and uh, a very step-by-step -step process. So um, I think that this will help many different people, but if it didn't help you, you can use the comment section below to ask that question Then probably wasn't answered with this video. Maybe other people can answer your question by their own experience, or I can answer it myself. Just be patient, sometimes I have many questions to ask, I mean to answer at the same time. And if I don't answer to you, eventually I will. Or you can ask me again, because sometimes I leave questions behind and I don't actually see at the moment Then I'm going through the comments. But if you wanna go more personal, like more personal questions, nope, not too personal, okay? <laughs> Just like questions about the trucks, 
uh, you can go to Instagram, Francisco Maya YouTube, you can look for me and then you can ask me anything about this video or any videos in general. If you have any ideas about this video or any future ideas about videos, you can use comment section below to comment right here so I can see how someone likes your comment about some specific topic thing you want me to do a video and probably with that I can make a video, I can be confident to make a video. And, uh, and uh, if you want that too, you can use Instagram as well to make it a like to ask me directly about anything. But uh, that's about it about this video. Um, questions, comment section below or Francisco Maya YouTube on Instagram. Like the video is very important because uh, that uh, makes me feel that whatever I'm doing is good, makes me feel confident of my work. Subscribe to the channel. You help me a lot with, uh, by subscribing to the channel, but if you want to help me even more, you can send me support, donations, or anything that you want. In the description below, there is details on how to send support to my channel so I can continue making videos like this for everybody. So everybody keeps learning a little more and a little more about specific topics. Um, and uh, share the video, it's very important. There is other people that don't know about these videos and want to learn this. And by, by sharing it, you are sharing the knowledge to them, which is going to be very important. So thank you for watching. Stay tuned, more videos coming soon about these amazing machines.